and achieved six degrees, including two PhDs. He completed his associate's, bachelor's and master's degrees of an evening whilst uh, serving as a US Marine. He's a doctor of naturopathic medicine and has a PhD in psychology. Dr. Nugent had a clinical practice for over 20 years and people came to him from all over the world. Such was his reputation uh, as a clinician. He's currently the president of the International Association of Complementary Medicine and president emeritus of the American Naturopathic Medical Association. He's an expert in dietary supplements, as I'm sure many of you will realize after hearing him at his training yesterday. He's one of the most intelligent and knowledgeable men I have ever met in the field of complementary medicine. He loves Australia. He thinks Australians are great. So on top of everything else, he's also a man of impeccable taste. <laughs> Please give a very, very warm welcome to Dr. Steve Nugent. Whey protein is the donor protein that we take the peptides from. But the difference between whey protein and our Osolene technology is about the same as comparing a block of granite to a Rodin sculpture. It's that different. So don't lead with the words whey protein, and I'll tell you how to explain this. You see, this exclusive peptide technology, I'm going to keep repeating that, is exclusive to Manatech. The scientists who developed this product, they approached us because we are so big and so successful worldwide, and they said, here's our technology. We've done double-blind placebo-controlled studies. This is what it does. Would you like to buy this technology from us? And we said yes, but only if it's our exclusive technology because we need to protect our associates and their businesses. So it is our exclusive peptide technology. We don't want to say whey protein. You see, bodybuilders buy whey protein to put weight on. And whey protein is dirt cheap. That's not what this is. This technology is so amazing. It's almost like science fiction. It is so 21st century. Imagine now, we have taken enzymes. These are called proteolytic enzymes. That means enzymes that eat protein. These proteolytic enzymes were then selectively directed to cleave only certain peptides from the protein chains. Different peptides do different activities. And we targeted specific peptides from the whey protein and left the rest of the bit by itself. So we've got just the active bits that we need to accomplish a mission that no other product in the industry can do. Only this product. Now, this is not an enzyme product. It's a peptide technology. You folks getting that? OK. Now, let's talk about the four mechanisms of action. Mechanism number one. Well, the first thing we want to do is have you be lean. For you to be lean, that means more muscle. If you're going to make muscle, you need to be able to convert proteins that you eat. You need to synthesize them, if you will, into muscle mass. You do that using three amino acids. And you see them abbreviated on the screen. They are leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Those three aminos are in the first mechanism of action. That helps us turn protein into lean mass. You want to be lean to be healthy. Next, you will go on the internet and look this up because I haven't the time to explain this bit to you, but I'll give you this. Angiotensin converting enzyme is something you don't want to be active in your body. You go on the internet and you look up angiotensin converting enzyme and you'll read all kinds of unpleasantness about it and you'll say, you know what? If there was a peptide that could inhibit the function of angiotensin converting enzyme even a little bit, what a benefit. There are many health benefits in doing this, but one of the big benefits in terms of getting lean is that by inhibiting angiotensin converting enzyme, you can actually reduce the amount of fat. So that's a major mechanism of action. We also have glycomacropeptides. Oh, gosh, what is that? Again, these are peptides. Now, these peptides are designed 
to help you release or produce more of something called cholecystokinin, or doctors abbreviate this as CCK. Cholecystokinin, you have below your stomach, you have a little pocket that's called the duodenum, and in some countries they call it the duodenum, tomato, tomato. Anyway, so the duodenum, when it gets the right stimulus, either from a protein or a fat, it will produce and release cholecystokinin. Why is this important? When cholecystokinin is released, a signal goes to the brain that says, you know what, I'm not that hungry anymore. In fact, I feel pretty satisfied right now. I don't think I need to eat that mountain of food that I normally eat. I think I could eat less. Now you'll see on the label, everyone listen carefully, you'll see on the label, it says take this product 20 minutes before food. You have four mechanisms of action. One mechanism only is dependent on that 20 minutes. That is the release of cholecystokinin. If you forget to take this product 20 minutes before you eat, take it anyway. Take it with the meal. Take it after the meal. Take it in between the meal. You will still get mechanisms one, two, and four. So the 20 minutes before is only to help you with appetite control. All right? Number four, calcitrophic hormone regulation. Oh my God, what does that mean? The hormones that regulate whether or not you will burn fat or not are calcitrophic hormone. If you can regulate that, then you regulate something called lipolysis. What does that mean? It means burning fat. So, very quickly, you have in mechanism number one what you need to synthesize protein into lean muscle mass. In number two, you have inhibiting peptides that can partially inhibit the function of angiotensin converting enzyme, and that means less new fat stored. Another advantage. Number three, I feel more satisfied when I release CCK 20 minutes before I eat and I have to eat less. And number four, I can help to regulate the amount of fat which is converted into energy and that of course is what you want. Now folks, think about this. Any one of these four mechanisms is its own product. Any one of those four mechanisms could sell product like crazy all over the world. And you have all four in one product proven by three studies. This product works. Now, it's not about weight. It's about fat. You have to start getting this in your minds and everyone you talk to in their minds. The scale is useless. Throw it out the window. Look at the study. We're looking at about two and a half kilos of weight lost over eight weeks. Big deal. What's important? This is important. What was lost in those kilos? Well, the control group that did not receive the peptide blend, they lost approximately the same amount of weight as the group that did use the peptide blend. But 50% was fat and 50% was muscle. The other group using the peptide technology, they lost some muscle, but they lost mostly fat per kilo. In fact, in the completer group, about 75% of each kilo was fat. This is amazing. This makes this product different than all the other products on the market. Now, here are the 10 biomarkers of vitality. And some refer to these as biomarkers of aging. But I call them vitality. Muscle mass. You're going to have more. No, you won't be bulked up real big. But you'll be more lean than you are fluffy. If you have more muscle mass, you're going to be stronger, more energy. You're going to be more alert. You are going to have, in fact, a significant contribution to nine of the ten biomarkers that I have underlined simply by getting lean. This is fabulous. And you can do all ten if you have the right diet, if you increase your activity, and you use the Osolene product as directed. 
isn't that super for our health. Here's another example for you to think about lean as opposed to weight. So we're looking at the difference here. We have, whoops, we have a bodybuilder, 209 pounds of this bodybuilder is lean. 11 is, and this was from an American study, so it's in pounds. 11 is fat. Here we have what in America we call the couch potato. This individual weighs the same weight, 220 pounds, they're both the same weight, but the more muscle mass you have, the more you can eat without gaining weight. The bodybuilder needs to eat 24, 22 calories, whereas the couch potato, if he exceeds 1882, he will gain more weight, and the weight will be in the form of fat. So we need to be thinking about fat, not weight. So we're thinking about centimeters, not kilograms. Centimeters. So we're going to measure because muscle weighs approximately three times more than fat does per centimeter. Now for all the ladies, if you, and I hope I get the dress size thing right, if you start at a dress size 18 and you drop down to a dress size 12 and you gain a kilo, is that okay? You bet it is. All right. Hope I got the dress size thing right. <laughs> You're going to keep a daily food diary. This is extremely important. When your new client starts, you want them to keep a record of what they eat because most people have no idea how much they're eating and what they're doing to themselves. You want to measure. You're going to be supplied with a chart and a tape measure, and you want to get in the habit of measuring you're going to measure once every seven days, not every day, once every seven days, because you'll have changes in water weight and that sort of thing, and you'll, have, you'll be swollen some days and not other days and so on. Once every seven days, and then you average it out. It's about the clothing size. Just to let you know, in 1998, Manatech was first in the world to create a system specifically devised to support glycemic index dieting. 2005, the biggest newspaper in the U.S. says glycemic index dieting is the right way to go. Manatech was way ahead. And again, with this new technology, we are way ahead of the rest of the world. So with this new technology, we are going to be able to do things for our vitality and our health, and yes, your appearance, that you had not previously imagined. You want to mix this with the GlycoSlim meal replacement drink. Why? The studies were done with a reduction of 500 calories per day per individual. If you use the GlycoSlim drink, which will cost you only 140 calories, you can replace an entire meal, which will save you far more than 500 calories. In fact, the average Australasian breakfast is going to go somewhere between 1,000 and 1,800 calories. I've been observing. So, you're going to save a lot simply by using the meal replacement drink. Mix your Osoline powder in there. It will taste great. The Osoline powder doesn't taste so good by itself. Uh, and if you think it tastes good, then you need more Amber Toast. <clears throat> so we've discussed already the 20-minute issue. We're not going to go back over that again. We know how to mix it, and we're reinforcing the fact that we are going to measure centimeters, not kilograms. Centimeters are all that count. All right, here's a couple of quick FAQs, and you're going to get them, and I want to give this to you. My time is running very short now. So people are going to look at this, and they're going to say, I think I'm allergic to dairy. Whey comes from dairy. Most people who think they're allergic to dairy are simply lactose intolerant. They're not allergic to dairy at all, but they don't know that because they get unpleasantness when they consume dairy. They actually need an enzyme called lactase. That's it. So it's not an allergy. Well, how much lactose is in the pro product? Not much. Your servings are 12.2 milligram servings each. Approximately 3% of that, or 0.336 milligrams lactose per serving. Lactose intolerance reactions begin at around 26 milligrams for the average person. Will you react to this if you're lactose intolerant? Probably not. But if you do, then take some lactase enzymes and use the product. Here's the next idea. 
and this is about another thing about food allergies. The majority of people who are actually allergic to milk are allergic to a protein which is called casein. Casein makes up 80 to 90 percent of all the protein in milk. Manatech is aware of that, and with our super technology, look what we have done. We have, through reverse osmosis, ultrafiltration, and microfiltration, removed all the casein from the product. There's no casein to worry about. I think that's pretty cool as well. Again, if you have allergy questions, you go to safety monitoring at manatech.com. Here's a big additional benefit of the product in my last few seconds. Calcium in the real food form. Calcium that your body actually knows how to digest, absorb, and utilize. And it's a lot of calcium. 400 milli 450 milligrams per serving and additional magnesium as well in the pure food form. There are no salts, no oxides, no chelo chelates, no junk, just pure food calcium. This product has so many benefits, you cannot go wrong. This, this suit is a suit that I wore at Manifest last year. They showed me in this suit a minute ago, and it was tight. This is not a double-breasted suit. The buttons are here, but I could easily today convert it to a double-breasted suit. And to show you... I have, I have definitely lost a lot in the waist, you know, but, but I think this is an even bigger example. Look at this, man. And I, uh, I have to wear suspenders with these. I, um... Fantastic! Yeah.